Trevor, right? I heard that one on the first turn. I was like, damn, dude. <laughs> that was that shoulder. Okay, so let's just make a few corrections real quick on this. Just tighten the little tweak. So go ahead and go back in your front relaxed. So the main thing that they're looking for when they judge is they're looking for, see the outside of your quads? Mm -hmm. If they, if you draw a straight line, straight down from the outside of this, mm -hmm. to the outside of your quad should be there. So you might spread your legs just, there you go. So now that's symmetrical. Okay. That's the X shape, you see it? Yep. So if someone had their legs in like me right now, mm -hmm. that's a Y shape. Okay. So it should be, See what I mean? Yep. And it's the same way on your back poses and all that stuff, which we'll look at. So that's the main thing. The other thing is, so go ahead and go back into your front relaxed. Now don't move your hands. See where they are? Mm -hmm. They're out here. Where do they need to be? Close enough to where you can almost brush. Oh, here? So there. So you want to be up big, and your arms are just sitting on your lats. Okay. Okay, you can make this. Oh, like that? Just like that. Now you're also leaning back, so you need to lean forward. Just, just, there you go. Make a fist. Now flex your legs. Okay. That's better. So relax, and then we're gonna get right back into that. Do you wanna take a picture of him too yeah. while he's in that? You just need to get leaner for your legs to split all the way. Okay. Which you are, which, I mean, you can see it. Yeah. Um, they'll continue to get leaner. So, okay, we're gonna go back to that front relax. Okay, now just take a giant breath in. See how much bigger you are right there? So this, this pose is all about being as big as you can. So it's a big breath in. And then you're up. And you just hold it. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Now quarter turn, you're gonna do you're gonna do like this. So just watch me in the mirror. If I'm here, quarter turn, blow the air out. All you're gonna do is just turn and smash your feet together. Okay, so you're gonna turn, twist here with your hand in front of your junk and right, right by your ass cheek, okay. and then blow all the air out because this will go small. Okay. Just like that. So feet together. Feet together. Hand here and here. Okay, so go ahead and bend your arm a little bit. Now let it come back. And this hand, bend it down. My hands are icy cold, sorry. So okay. bend this a little bit. So you're gonna relax this arm. Okay. Right here. There you go. Feet flat. There you go. Yeah, that's good. So see what's happening when you blow the air out? Here. Now one thing, see how you're here? Yeah. You're kind of starting to crunch. You don't you don't want to get close together. Okay. You want your hands out here. Okay. There you go. This shouldn't be straight, it should be bent. There you go. Okay. Now blow the air out and flex. And flex here. That's good. Keep this hand back. There you go. Because you want them to see the feet. this. Okay. You want them to see how lean you are. If your hand gets in front, you cover that up. Because okay. he's a judge. Yeah. And all those judges are there, so he can't see that. Right. That's covered. You see what I mean? And so am I supposed to be like this? Or? You'll face the way okay. that you turn. So go ahead and face the front. So when you come down, you just want it to be smooth. So you're in your front relaxed. That's quick. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's fucking, this is hard ass work. It is. Quarter turn, so all you're gonna do is step, step, twist, blow it out. That's it. But see how your arm is stiff out in front of you? Yeah, sorry. There you go. As the quarter turn begins, all you're gonna do is just step and do your front relaxed. Yeah. So pretend you're doing your front relaxed to the judges. So just a big, big breath in. Okay, so this is the next part that's that's um, super important. So your legs, from here to here, what you want to do is squeeze your ass cheeks together okay. and pretend like you're sticking your dick that far in a hole. Okay. <laughs> squeeze it together and just thrust forward. Do you feel that? Yeah. Now, from here down to the bottom of your knees, try to roll it in, like trying to squeeze it in. Like that? Yeah. 
So actually, I can see I can see his hands popping just a little mm -hmm. bit in the mirror. Okay, now you gotta stay big up top though. So like, don't let that change. Dude, that's perfect. Like, that's perfect. But you feel all that. And now, all you're gonna do is quarter turn. So all you're gonna do is step, step. Turn, blow it out. Okay, so this side looks a lot more natural. So like, every, like your hand placement's natural, your arm's natural. Like that's good. So, yeah, really good. One thing you can do is you can actually twist, keep your hips here, and twist your upper body there. Okay, now look that way. Now blow it out. Yeah. So now go ahead and look in the mirror. You see how you twist a little more? There's way more V taper. Okay. So you twist even more. You see what I mean? Yep. So if, if you go back to just just here, now turn and look. Yeah. You're not seeing as much. All right. So it's all about twisting that much and then just look that way. See, that's fucking, that's really, you should take a picture of that. One thing that you need to practice is like smooth transitions. Yeah. Like you're probably not, you're probably not gonna go break it down on the dance floor. No. Right? No. Right, you're like, you're yeah. like white boy as fuck. Yeah. So I was like, my shit was military, so it's just like real, like I can just move, and make it smooth. You don't wanna make it like that, but what you wanna do is when they say quarter turn, a lot of people, they're just like this. Mm -hmm. Make it smooth. So like I could get up on stage. I haven't been on stage in 10 years. I could get up there and I could just, I've just worked on things being smooth. Just take your time to develop some kind of a rhythm. Okay. Um, so then from here, they're going to call front double bicep. Okay. So you're already here. Your legs are already, you're already hitting your legs. I would just throw it up just like that. And this one, you're not flexing your abs. You're not leaning forward or anything. You're up and big. So that's good. This is pretty close. One thing you can do is you can kick one leg out just a little. So like up, up on your toe and just out to the side, not out front. Okay, you just step over here a little bit if you need more. There you go. So hit both your legs. That's better than your legs straight. Okay. So relax, just go back to your front, relax. So when they say, yeah, I know. It'll get to where it's, you can just be like, boom. Um, front double biceps, kick that leg out, hit it. One thing you want to do is bend that knee and turn it out. Just there you go. See what happened there? You just create more roundness on the bottom. That's perfect. That's money. So just do one and then we'll look at the other one. Okay. Um, we tried this way first. Okay. Um, and then went to this way. Okay. Okay. Do this one first. No, no, that's a good one. That's actually the one I did on stage. Um, do this one again. Okay. Let's stick with that one because that's what most people do. And the only difference is, is if you're here, you can actually hit that and then transition to that. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. Okay. But let's let's so let's fix this pose real quick. Go ahead and get into it. Go closer and see. Is it this foot forward? Yeah. That foot is actually right in the middle of your back foot. Right. And then you're gonna smash your hamstring, like almost like you're smashing your nuts. Right. Right? Smash it into that back leg, and then come up on your toe like you're almost gonna cramp. Now come down. So what's gonna happen is that's, that's actually gonna cause all this to flex. Okay, and then bring your hand here. Yeah, and you always wanna make sure your hand is right here where it uh, not, not your hand, your bottom arm is right there on that because you don't want to cover this up. Right. So, now you're in it, you're blowing air out, just nice and slow. Okay. It'll be fucking confident smile, like that's all shit for later, you know what I mean? But that's the important thing because a lot of people do that and like that fucking judge never sees you at all. So if you're, it's like if there's seven people on stage and you got Say there's somebody that's hands down class winner, and you're fighting for a third or fourth for some odd reason. And you're all the way down here, they're not fucking moving you around. So if the person over there, they're getting a better look at them, you don't want that to happen. Okay. So you need to show them. Okay. That. So that's with every side post, side tricep too. Let's Did see. We do side tricep? No, we didn't. <laughs>
Oh, oh, you guys. We haven't done anything like I'm that. I'm like, they, they keep going back and forth, so, like, I'm pretty sure it's fucking still in there as a post. Okay. They were, one year they didn't do it at all. Okay. I'm like, fuck, man, are you guys going to do it or not? So, right. I would just do it. Okay. Um, and if they don't call it, great, they don't call it. I don't so, know how to do it. I'll show you. But let's see your other side chest. Okay. Hit your other side. They're both about even. Um, which side feels more comfortable? If you had to do one right now, is there a side that feels just more comfortable? You're a right handed guy. Yeah. So probably that. I don't know. I don't know. I feel like this one went a little better. I think this pack's bigger. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I like this side better. I like this side better. Here's what I would do. I just crack some bolts. Okay. It doesn't hurt to crack some bolts. Um, we'll do this again with you, so. Yeah. I mean, this is really splitting hairs. Like, those two poses, if I were judging them, and you had a twin, and you guys were doing them, I'd probably go with that last one. Okay. But it'd be fucking hard. Okay. You look slightly leaner from this side. But as you get 100% lean, it don't matter. Right. So it just depends on what you're more fluid with. The main thing that we need to watch is your leg. So what happens, you got big hamstrings, but for some reason your hamstrings aren't showing on that pose. Like I didn't should. flex them. <laughs> yeah, so let's let's do that again. Get your, go ahead and get your leg. So I, whenever I turn, I take my leg out and I, I bring it up and I, I make this leg push the hamstring out. Right. Right? So it's like, like that. Like that. That's actually, yeah, that's better. Yeah, so this leg should be pushing the hamstring out a little, and that drop down on the hip. Yeah, that's better. Okay. You, you don't have giant hamstrings. No, I don't. Okay, now are you flexing it or no? Yeah, well, yeah. yeah. Let it relax. Now just let your hand be relaxed. You just smash your leg out. Don't even flex anything. Smash it out. Okay. Yeah, that comes out. Bend your rear you. Yeah, you can see it. So don't even flex anything. Because you're gonna be hundred percent stage lean. You're not gonna have to flex a damn thing, dude. When you go when you just go down line, it's gonna separate. Okay. But if you flex it, it makes a, it makes it jump up. Okay. So don't flex it. Okay. Just smash that fucker and let it hang. Okay. Because that's one thing, like, say you and I are posing next to each other and, and I don't, but say I had these fucking giant hamstrings hanging down. And you didn't, and we're close up here, I'm going to win that post. Right. So just smash it and let it hang down. Um, let's do your side tricep. Everything is the same from the bottom down. So just go ahead and get into this again. And then you're just going to take one arm behind your back. It doesn't matter how you do it, you can grab your wrist. Yep. So go straight down. Now what you want to do is turn. So now you see that V taper, keep your chest up just a little. Now turn, flex, blow it out. That's good. So look at that real close. I'm only seeing you here. You need to turn, blow it out. There you go. So they're not judging your tricep on this final pose. Okay. They're judging your whole. Because okay. you'll see a lot of guys get up their pose and they're like, fuck it. I'm <laughs> trying to do all this shit. <laughs> 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 I, was to do it. I couldn't get back there. Yeah, like people don't know. Right. So like, if you watch the pros, like the active pros, they're like this, they're like boom, and they turn and they just, that's exactly what they're looking at. How's your hands like, okay. Well, that's just me, because I can't grab shit, so. Yep, now, if you're looking at me and I'm doing a quarter turn, like in the mirror, like all you can see is straight on. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is uh, way different. Uh, Same thing with the side pose, like you can't see shit. If you can see that, you know what I mean. Yeah. So never, just remember, never be straight. Always okay. have, a, always have the V taper. Okay. Separates. It's a huge, like from fifth to second, it could be. You know, that little stuff okay. always adds. That's everything. the first time we've ever hit that pose. So yeah. It's new. <laughs> the side tricep will be if they call it. That would be a good one for you. 
got giant chest, fucking shoulders, and like when you turn, like if you look at Branch Warren and watch his side tricep, because he's got that kind of a build, dude, it just fucking kills everybody. Yeah. And he, it's that angle that he turns from. Okay. So yeah, that would be a good one for you. From there, they'll call, they'll heavy face and rear. So you'll just hit your back relax. And I'll show you the pose real quick. What they're gonna have you do is they're gonna have you spike a leg. So you'll be here, they'll say spike a calf, do a back double bicep. All you're gonna do is just step back slightly, sit on your legs just like you were in the rear relaxed, open your quads up, and then hit a back double bicep. Okay. Actually, that's pretty good. Spike your calf just a little bit. There you go. Okay. Should this leg step out a little further? Nope. You were actually just fine. Because you never want to feel like you're off balance. So go ahead and go back to here. I was a little off balance. That's why I stepped. That's why I asked. If you step more forward, you'll be even more off okay. balance. So, so I always tell people, pretend you're going to, like, if you were in your rear relax, if I told you you had to jump up and touch something, uh -huh. you could jump up from right here. Uh -huh. This should be the same thing with balance on your back leg. So the first thing on the back double biceps, you're just going to step. And you're gonna center of okay. your, your gravity. It's like boom, sit right on it. And if I had to jump from right here, I could. Right. So see where my feet are? Mm -hmm. This should just be right there. Okay. So just one little step back, turn your quads out. Dude, that's fine. That pose is literally so you know like you do with your front double bicep, kick the leg out. Some guys, it's called an Adam thigh. Like they'll flex a leg or they'll do something. I would just kick a leg out a little bit like you do. Like this. Flex it, hands up over your head, you blow all the air out and push your abs out. There you go. Turn that quad out just a little. That's good right there, man. Like, fuck, you nailed that. That's smooth. Right. So what you want to do is to start, just kick your leg out here, blow it out, come down, and then you'll have to watch for his legs. Okay. To make sure they don't go soft, because if not, then you got legs, then you're getting tight your legs. Okay. So go ahead and get back into it one more time. One thing that you can do is come over this way, a little side steps. Now. Do it again. That's pretty good. Turn that quad out just a little. There you go. Just do just another two inches that you added. Uh -huh. Just really rounded that out. So that's a good one. Okay. Um, you could also try. You could also try one one arm behind your, your head and hitting that one with your legs, doing the same thing. That's a good one too. You should get a picture of both of those, and then you guys decide. Honestly, those are both smaller here because it makes them look bigger. I don't. You're not, you know, obviously have a problem with that, but it's a front lat spread, and then and then they hit this. Okay. It may be an awkward one for you. So basically your legs are just just like they were in both poses. Yep. And then you get big here. So you basically just roll your lats forward and then you throw a bicep up. I got a problem with this one. Let me think about it for a second. Shit. I can't make it work. It's tough. It's tough. See I'm a, I can't make it flare out. Yeah. I used to be able to do so that. Do, do your front relax. There you go. Yeah, your other two smoked that one. Huh? Your other two smoked that one. Because yeah. uh, <laughs> I didn't like that shit. <laughs> but I'm sorry, I'm sorry. 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 I'm sor